In this video, I'll run through how to set up your Phonak TV connector in three easy steps. I'm Matthew Allsop and this channel covers hearing health updates, tech news and how-to guides. So if you're interested in hearing as best as possible, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that grey notifications bell and then you'll be updated every time I release a new one of these videos. If you're watching this video, then it's probable that you've already got a TV connector. Now, this is an incredible device and a great addition to your toolbox because it means you can stream the television directly to both of your hearing aids without the need for any intermediate device. And it's in Dolby Surround as well. It's compatible with these Bluetooth hearing aids and I'll put a list of them in the description to this video. So let's get on with the setup process. Step one, the cables. When you open the box, you'll find the TV connector itself, a mini USB cable, a 3.5mm jack and a Toslink, aka a digital optical cable. You have two options when it comes to streaming sound directly from the television to the TV connector. Number one is the 3.5mm jack. This is normally plugged into the audio socket, so the headphone output on any television or any device in fact. The only downside of this is it actually takes the sound away from the speakers. So if you're watching the TV with anyone else in the room, they won't be able to hear it. If you really want to use this, you can buy a splitter. It doesn't come with a TV connector. It looks like so, and I'll put a link in the description to this video. That plugs into the end of the three and a half mil jack, and then we'll go into the phono output on your TV. They're the red and the white sockets. Alternatively, you can use the Toslink cable. This will give you the best quality signal and the smallest delay. And so it is a better cable to use. Plus it actually gives you the ability to watch the television with other people in the room around you as well. Both of these cables go into the same port on the back of the TV connector. However, they go into different ports on the back of your television. I'll highlight both of them in front of you now. The USB cable that gives the TV connector its power can be plugged into two places. Number one is it can go into the mains in your wall, or number two, you can actually use a spare USB socket on the back of the television. This one tends to be a little bit neater, so you can keep it tucked away behind the TV. Step two, pairing. Pairing to the TV connector is really simple. So now everything's set up, we need to let the hearing aids know that the TV connector exists. The first thing you need to do is to just gently increase the volume on the television until you see a green light appear on the back of your TV connector. Now press the only button on the back of the TV connector, highlighted here. The LED will now start flashing blue, meaning it's searching for your hearing aids. All you need to do is put the hearing aids within one meter of the TV connector and you should hear a confirmation jingle in your ears. That means everything is set up and paired and ready to go. The LED on the back should stop flashing blue as well now. Step three, streaming. Whenever the TV is now switched on, it should automatically start streaming. If you're not noticing any sound coming through, just hold the button on the back of one of your hearing aids just for about two seconds and it should start to come through. Alternatively, you can switch to the streaming mode using the MyPhoneAC app. That's it from me today, guys. Drop any questions in the comments and like and subscribe. Cheers.